All right, so today we're gonna to talk about brakes on the Nissan. Now, uh, in my last video, I adjusted the rear brakes, and uh, during that video, I realized that the rear brake pads were perfectly fine. In fact, they looked like they had just been replaced. Uh, the front is a different story. I decided to take a look at the front, and they were very worn. So, uh, we're actually gonna replace the front brakes on the Nissan today. Now, I got my brake pads from CarQuest. I got ceramic brake pads. You know, they're gonna give you an option they're gonna tell you that you can get ceramic or organic. Now, organic brake pads are certainly cheaper, but they, are te they uh, tend to squeal. So, I went with the ceramics. The organics were only $18, uh, and the ceramics that I picked up were 38, and that was for all four pads, so it's actually really not bad. Uh, you're also gonna have the option to get pads that come with the hardware. Uh, really, if you're worried about your hardware, take off the tire first, take a look at the hardware and see if it's damaged or anything like that. Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need the hardware. So I didn't pick up the hardware, uh, but during the video, if you hear me mention like bracket or clip or whatever, that's the hardware they're referring to. It's basically just uh, pieces of metal bent into certain shapes that hold the actual brake pads to the rotor uh, before the caliper ever goes on. So uh, we're gonna get started by lifting the truck uh, breaking the uh, breaking the logs before lifting the truck, lifting it up, and then uh, getting started. All right, now before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you break the actual lug nuts uh, free from their holding position before you actually lift the car. So uh, I actually have an electric impact, so I can do that pretty quickly. But if you don't, just leave it down, uh, break break the lug nut, and then lift the car up, and then you can take the wheel off entirely. All right, so now that we have the front of the vehicle lifted and the tires off, uh, we expose the rotor and the caliper. Now, uh, the, to remove the actual brake pads from the caliper, you're gonna have uh, two bolts in the back, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then you're gonna have to slide it out of the outside. So I'm gonna bring my other camera in here and show you those two bolts. So there's one here and then one down here as well. So once you remove those, you want to pull this whole unit away and then you'll be able to get the pads out. All right, so now that this is out, you can rest this on the, uh, the lower arm here and just make sure that there's no tension on the brake lines at all. So make sure back here that you're not actually um, you know, pulling anything. You can also set it on a container here, any type of container that is high enough that uh, you're not going to put any tension on again. So you can leave it there and then you can start removing the clips uh, to take the actual pads out. Start by removing this little uh, clip here just by squeezing it and pulling it out. All right, that's number one. Set that aside and then keep going at the clips. So to remove the actual brake pads, there's a little tab at the very bottom. Uh, of, you'll see it on a clip at the bottom of the bracket. If you push down on that and then pull the brake pad towards you, brake pad, excuse me, that will pop the brake pad out. Do the same on the back to remove the back pad. Now to remove these, you could actually push on the bottom tab or the top tab to get them out. Uh, when you're putting them back in, you're just gonna get a snap. So you can see that this clip here, I'll bring my other camera in here. This clip here sits down and it actually holds the pad in place by putting pressure on this little, uh, this little bracket here. So uh, just make sure that stays in place, push it down, make sure it's firmly seated in the bottom and in the top, and that's how your new pads are going to go in. So before I go any further, I'm going to spray this off with some brake cleaner uh, so we have nice clean parts that we're working with. All right, so while that dries, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about the pads themselves. Now, the pads all look very similar, uh, but there are a few differences. So in this case, you'll see that this one has a tab here, and uh, the one that I just pulled off the car, this would be the inside pad. 
uh, has that same tab. So obviously these two are going to go together. Uh, and the rest of these really look the same. Uh, they are pretty much the exact same. I'm not exactly sure what this tab is for, um, but regardless, uh, we're going to make sure that they match. Now also, the pads on the vehicle themselves had actual pieces of hardware on them. So you'll see that each one of these pads have a shim, uh, but this one here actually has pieces of hardware on it. So if you just peel those off, I just use my finger, uh, it's really easy to yank them off on this one and on this one, and then just put them on the pads that you're replacing them, or that you're replacing them with, snap them on, and then uh, that way they're ready to go when you, uh, before you put them on. Now we can put some grease on these so they don't squeak. Uh, just put some grease in between here and then, uh, then reinstall them. Since our new brake pads are bigger than our old ones, we need to make space to accommodate for them. So what we need to do is you're actually going to compress the cylinders in the caliper, but as you do that, it pushes the fluid back into the system. So you want to just take the cap off of the brake fluid container, and that way as you're expanding it, you're not fighting yourself, and uh, this will just have some room to expand. As you're expanding them, make sure that you uh, are not overflowing this, uh, so just kind of watch it as you go. To compress the cylinders, take one of your old brake pads and set them on the cylinders themselves. Since this is a dual cylinder system, we need to compress both of them to make the new pads fit. So I'm going to take my old pad, I'm going to set it against the cylinders, and I'm going to take a 5 inch C-clamp and one at a time slide it over and then start compressing the cylinder into the caliper. Do that for both sides to make room for your new pads. All right, so both cylinders are pushed in uh, with enough space for the new pads. So we're gonna slap the new pads in and then reassemble the, the caliper back onto the bracket. Okay, so we're ready to put the new brake pads back in. So make sure you're putting the right pad on the right side. So the one here with the big tab on the passenger side of the vehicle is the one that goes on the inside. So we just slide those in and I'll put it one, the one in on the back and then I'll show you the one on the front uh, it's the same style of putting it in, uh, just the pads are a little bit different, so make sure those are correct. All right, when you're installing these pads, just make sure you put a little bit of grease where they're uh, contacting the actual brackets. All right, that's good. And then simply slide them in, so you'll see an actual groove where the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pad sits and the top of the pad. So you slide them in, line it up, all right so you'll feel a very or you'll hear a very definitive clip uh, once they're on and then now we just need to take this caliper, slide it back on and get the screws put in place. Now, before putting the caliper back on, you need to get this little clip back in place. Uh, you're just going to see two little holes in the bottom of each pad. Uh, you just need to slide them into that. So one there and one there. All right, pretty simple. Now to get the caliper on, uh, if you've put this, if you've compressed the cylinders enough, uh, it'll simply just slide right on. All right, there we go. And then make sure that has space underneath. Beautiful. And then just finger tighten the screws in here so it hangs. All right. Grab the other one. Finger tighten it. All right. And then just cinch it down with your ratchet. All right, so this side is done. We're gonna put the tire back on, and then uh, basically, you just need to repeat the exact same process on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and I'll just, uh, I'll make a note if there's anything different, otherwise, uh, it's the same process. All right, so it is the same process on the other side. 
So really the last thing you want to make sure that you do is actually put your brake fluid cap back on uh, so you don't have issues with driving down the road. So uh, that concludes the video. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, or uh, recommendations, uh, just put them in the comments below. Thanks. Talk to you soon.